As soon as it hit the water, he just freaking. We got him on the uh, chase bait. There he is, first frog. Fish. Oh, he's a nice one, too. Oh, there we go. Chase bait frog got him again. <laughs> oh. Welcome back to Harvest Land TV. Today we're going to be doing a review on the chase bait frogs. Uh, these frogs, I believe, are more suited for like lakes or still water. Um, they're not really good in rivers. Uh, they also are not very durable at all. I had, I caught like one or two fish off of one of the frogs, the desert frogs, in the video, and the thing looked like it was 30 years old by the end of the day of throwing it into reeds and, and other stuff. So the green one was a little bit better. I added some super glue to it, but overall, probably not gonna buy another chase bait frog uh, just because their productivity wise, being able to throw it in there over and over and over again, uh, they're not the most durable frog out there. So durability wise, I'm not gonna probably get another one. I'll probably get a spro frog. Uh, for throwing it over and over again, but I mean they're fun. I caught a three pound fish off of it, which was one of my biggest fish I ever caught on a frog. So I mean they're worth the buy if you want to just, you know, try something new. So I hope you like the review, and if you have not yet, subscribe. got right now on a little frog he's got a popper frog we're gonna see what happens i already had a fish hit the the cheater bait but uh i'm gonna try these uh chase baits out because they're awesome it looks amazing in the water so see if we can catch some fish get some top water bite here all right what i went ahead and did was uh i put a bunch of super glue up at the top right here and then i put it right here on the belly uh and let it dry and so hopefully that will stop my frog problems because this thing really slips down. As you can see, they have string there that's supposed to hold it from the nose going down, but the string comes unraveled. So it'd be a good idea to super glue that string as soon as you get this, before you even throw it. Take this uh, frog off the hook and uh, super glue the string that they have in there. I never thought of that, but that'd be a lot more helpful because the last two frogs I've used of the uh, chase bait frogs, they've the strings come undone. But hopefully now we won't have any more frog problems that I super glued the bottom right here and the top. So we'll see. It's on there pretty dang good. So when you're throwing this frog, um, throw it up there, and it goes belly up like it just did right there. So the belly's up instead of the instead of down. I just give it a good pop, and then it comes right back. There's a good little pop like that, make it skip a little bit. And then, uh, and then it'll flip on over back on its belly. Uh, I think mainly pitching this thing causes it to go up belly up. And then I just kind of, right there, just let those feet do the little action thing that they are made to do. Just like that. And that gives a good effect. Jesus. No. No, that's a good fish. Nice fish. Man. I'm gonna break my pole. <laughs> nice, dude. We got him on the uh, chase bait. Straight up perfect hook set right there. I did not get a good hook set on him at all. And I was like, no, I barely got him, but he freaking, he smoked it. Uh, so got him on that freaking frog right there, that chase bait frog. This is uh, the brown one looking, marsh one I think it is. But hey, there's two fish. Pretty sweet. That was a nice little two pounder, maybe two and a half. I didn't even have to set the hook, bro. <laughs> I was like, that was... Yeah. I was like, nope, not a good hook set. That little chase bait did pretty dang good. Brown marsh. He nailed it, so see if we can get some more on him. Well, so far with this chase bait frog, um, the only thing I don't like is it... Uh, flips upside down sometimes when you cast it. When you get it out there, it'll be upside down. And you kinda gotta give it a little pop to get it back on the right side. Um, but really, I'm just working it like this. I'm just, 
I'm not popping it like you're not walking a frog. It's not a typical walk. Oh no. And another downside to this frog is sometimes you snag stuff like such because the hooks are kind of exposed. But yeah, so it's good. It skips. Now I'm starting to get the hang of it. This frog, it skips. That was a pretty good skip right there. I've been doing some good skips, but I just kind of do that to it right there, you know? It's kind of like walking it, but a much more finesse way of doing it instead of being real drastic with it. Just a little twitching right there. Come on now, hit it. Hit it. And I'm pretty sure it's called Brown Marsh. I got the big one. If you're gonna buy one of these, do not buy the small ones, unless if you need to like completely finesse fish, like you've got baby bass that you see or something. I don't know, but those those ones are tiny. I'll show you the difference. But yeah, they're tiny. You wanna get the big ones. Get the big ones, they're, they're better. There he is, first frog. Fish, oh easy, nice one too. Whoo, no. Two, two, two and a half. Oh, just choked it. Yeah, that's a good fish right there. Changed up the frog from the desert marsh to the green guy. Uh, I think this frog is better suited for slower moving water. Uh, by the way, we came out here, it's a new day. Early in the morning, we finished out with 18 fish total yesterday and uh, starting off with one today. Right on the frog, we're out here at Martina's Lake, uh, throwing some frogs on these uh, reeds. And let me tell you something, there's some freaking frogs a croaking out here. 2.6, almost two and a half. Nice. 2.7, yeah, 2.6. It's a nice little frog bite right there. All right, so that was pretty dang cool. Yeah, there's like this little thing right here, I guess. It's like a little tab. I don't know what it's made for. I think it's to prevent the frog from slipping down, but it does not last on these uh, chase bait frogs. Um, I like these chase bait frogs, but uh, they do have a tendency of like flipping upside down. Like river fishing is not very good with them. Um, but kind of like lake fishing like this that we're doing is pretty, it's pretty decent. Uh, so far, I just got the first one of the day. But, uh, yeah, they also get caught up on the reeds, too, so you just got to be careful with them, subtle. Uh, don't pitch into thick stuff because you will get caught. Frog number two. Fish number two. Look at this thing. This looks weird. Look how small its mouth is. Oh, there we go. Chase bait frog got him again. Number two. Just a little pounder. Pound and a half, probably. Yeah, that's a largey. Yeah. Little chunker. I was just telling him, uh, just telling Travis that probably not gonna buy another one of these chase bait frogs. I mean, they are good, but they're just not um, huh? very, yeah, durable. They're not very durable at all. Uh, like, I already got a leg that's ripping, and I just used it. You just started using it, you know? I've only caught two fish off of it. I mean, they're, they're catching fish, but you can see right there, it's already starting to rip. I don't know if that's normal or not, but, and that desert frog one I used, it freaking, it had some, it looked like I've been using it for 30 years or something like that. <laughs> and I used it for one day. So, I mean, they're good. I think they're worth the buy. If you wanna like get a, a fun frog bite a little bit, you know? But if you want something that's gonna be durable and last you a while, these probably aren't the frog for you. A little bit more productive with a regular frog. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got him. Woo! <laughs> yeah. There we go, choked it. Dude, they freaking choked this, man. He went all the way down. That's a good one right there. Kind of had to do some surgery. Three pounds on the dot. Is it? Yeah, three pounds on the dot. 
Nice, dude. He's blinding an eye, too. All right, let's get him in the water here. Oh, dang. <laughs> He's got some fight to him. Oh, there he took off. Sweet. That's three. Oh, he's a good one. Dude, as soon as it smacked the water, he nailed it. He nailed that. Come on. Come here. That was boat flippy. How's that sound? Oh, yeah, he choked that. As soon as it hit the water, he just freaking took it. Right in the roof of the mouth. That's perfect, dude. Did you? Yeah. That's a nice little chunker. Dude, we're slaying it today. You're slaying it today. Yeah. Heck yeah. What do you, how many fish is that? Four. Four? Nice, man. You're going to have to leave this time around. <laughs> yeah, that means you got to get the big fish of the day. 2.6. 2.6. Never get away from that. Awesome. Technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to say this thing is doing pretty good, dang good, honestly. Yeah. I mean, besides a few, uh, besides a few freaking downfalls on it, with the on its back on its back all the time and being a little bit brittle and snagging on a bunch of stuff, <laughs> it's been doing pretty dang good.